Coach, just your thoughts on what happened on the ice last weekend? Uh, disappointed with Friday night's effort. Um, talked about it Saturday. Um, it, we don't think it was indicative of who we are and what we've been. And Saturday, the effort was better. Our execution wasn't great. I think we got a little fortunate on a couple of the goals we scored. Um, and Western showed that they're not going to go down without a fight. And unfortunately, we you know, made a couple of mistakes, played, a, played 57 minutes that were okay, and then the last four, including the first minute of overtime, weren't. And I think, again, Western showed that they're a team that uh, has earned a top 10, top 5 ranking and a second-place seed uh, in this league. And, um, it was disappointing, but we were happier with the effort. At least that looked like more of the team that uh, has showed up the last you know, six or seven weeks. Um, senior weekend last weekend, there was obviously the celebration <coughs> before the game Saturday. There was an event uh, Sunday morning for the players and their families. Just talk about how special that was to celebrate the seniors and with their families. Well, I think it's always a special thing. We talked about it last week, and um, that's college athletics. You're saying goodbye to some and hello to others come next fall. And, uh, you know, I thought the event on the ice went well. I thought the seniors actually, you know, played well. You know, Logan Eaton in the net. And I think some of the guys had points, some of the senior guys. Not that that is everything, but that's something. And then Sunday, we just, we just celebrated together. You know, the families are in town because it is senior weekend. So we have a, a, a senior recognition, senior celebration on Sunday, away from the emotion of a game. Um, and, and we thought it went well. The seniors get up there and... Um, have the opportunity to thank the people that they're thankful for in their lives. And uh, we thought it went well. So, you know, the only thing that's a little bit different, Patrick, is that there's still hockey to play. So we're not wrapping up a season. We're, 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 I think what we're doing is we're wrapping up their home experience. Um, and most of them mentioned that We've got a playoff series that we've got to stay focused for and, and, and ready for and all that kind of stuff. So I, th I, I thought it went well, and, and um, now you put that behind you and you focus on Denver. Off to Denver, a team you know very well. You played them four times this year. What's been the message this week regarding the Pioneers? I, I think the biggest message for us is the belief. We have to believe. Um, not only last year, or this year, but last year. Played them six times last year. Um, they're, an, they're a really good team, and they play really well at home, and it's a place that we haven't played well in. So the belief is, Patrick, that we can play better. Uh, we, we respect the heck out of Denver, uh, and they deserve it. They've earned it. They're, they're, they're veteran and deep um, at all three positions, um, and that veteran comes with a national championship in terms of experience, which you just can't teach. Um, all that being said, we, 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 we're, we're going to prepare. We've watched the two games there. We've watched the two games here. Um, our biggest challenge is the mental side of things, I believe. The, the physical thing, we know what it is. They've, they're, they're, they're elite talent. But the mental thing is what's happened there. What happened there in January was one bad thing turned into five, and then the game was over halfway through the second period, where both nights we went into the second period tied. Uh, those are the realities. So let's prepare, um, but we're going to need those boys who get on the bus here in, in the next little bit to just just have a belief. Know that bad things are going to happen, whether it's a goal against or whatever, uh, but, but believe that we can continue to push and that we can play better than we've played, in particular the series at Denver. That's our biggest challenge. Jack, just your thoughts on what happened on the ice last week. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, obviously Saturday night was kind of a whirlwind. Uh, we had a um, really good, strong game, strong bounce back game um, for, I mean, 55 or 57 minutes of that, of that night. Uh, we were really happy with the way we played. Um, really proud of our effort, especially after a, a Friday night that we weren't too proud of. Um, and then obviously that, the last couple of minutes there, we let, um, we let a chance slip away. But I mean, We've been playing really good hockey, and, and we feel really, really good about where our game's at coming into the weekend. The uh, senior celebration Saturday before the game, and then there was the event Sunday as well to honor you guys in your last home games, your senior class. Just talk about the emotions involved in that and what it was like to celebrate with your classmates and with your families as well. Yeah, um, yeah, um, pretty much all our, our families were able to come, which was, which was awesome to have everyone there. Um, really weird feeling. Um, obviously, it's cliche, but, you know, those four years really do go by fast, and uh, um, 
Um, but I mean, Saturday night on the ice was a really good tribute um, to all the seniors. Um, I know as a senior and, and, a, and speaking for my class, we were really uh, happy with how it turned out and how it went. Um, and then Sunday morning was, um, they did a really good job with, uh, you know, honoring us and, and, and that kind of stuff. And we were able to stand up and, and give our speeches and, and just our thoughts on our last four years. And it was pretty special. You know Denver well. You played them four times this year. Went there for the playoffs last year as the captain. What's been your message to the group regarding this weekend? Yeah, um, I mean, obviously we know uh, we know what a, uh, um, what they're capable of, the kind of team they are, um, and honestly, we just kind of want to um, play free this weekend. Um, uh, we're looking to battle, go there and battle and put up a fight. Um, we're looking to extend our season. Um, so that's what you'll kind of see from us this weekend. We're, we're going to lay it on the, all on the line and, and give them everything they can handle. Lastly, does the altitude play any factor in playing in Colorado or no? <laughs> um, I, I mean, it'll be nice to get there, you know, a day or two um, in advance, um, you know, um, more, than more than usual a little bit, um, just to kind of get adjusted a little bit. Um, I think that's all. Um, yeah, it's a built-in excuse, I guess, a little bit, but no, I don't think that c comes into play very much.